Hello, this is Dr. Ned Hallowell coming to you from my dining room in Arlington, Massachusetts. Today uh, at the Masters Tournament uh, on the Golf Channel, Jaime Diaz commented on Bubba Watson and how I have been trying to connect with him to talk with him about his ADHD, which is true. And I've been uh, uh, thinking about how how common it is for high achieving adults who have ADHD and may or may not know it, not to get help. And so I thought I'd talk with you a little bit about that today. Uh, a lot of people think if you are doing well in life, as certainly Bubba Watson is one of the best golfers in the world, many people think he's the most talented shot maker in all of professional golf. How in the world would he want any help? He's doing great. He's a pro. He's a star. And that's true for many people who have ADHD. The, the current CEO of uh, uh, AOL and, and Yahoo, a company now called Oath, Tim Armstrong has it. The man who founded JetBlue, Tim, uh, David Nealman has it. And the list goes on and on. Some of the most highly productive, highly creative, amazingly talented people in the world have ADHD. Why would they want to be diagnosed or treated or, and I don't even like the word treat. I often say I don't, I don't treat disabilities. I help people develop their talents, or as I like to put it, unwrap their gifts. So let, let me enlarge on that a little bit. Uh, I, I think it's time to change the paradigm from disability and disorder to trait and and explain this condition uh, not as a as a malady not as a disability not as a disorder but as a really fascinating trait and one that's common among highly achieving highly talented highly creative people and even if they're achieving at the very very highest levels they could be doing even better with less effort if they were to seek uh, help or consultation with someone like me. Not necessarily me, I'm certainly not saying I'm the only person in the world who can help these people, but I am someone who, who can help these people. I am someone who knows a lot about this, this condition, and unfortunately there are not all that many people who do understand it in adults, who do understand it from a strength-based perspective, which is the perspective that I take and, and uh, my, my friend and colleague John Rady takes, and we've taken in all of our books, that, that managed right, this is, a, this is a powerfully positive condition. Now, managed wrong, uh, it's a terrible condition, and that's what makes it so interesting. Managed right, you can soar to the very top, like David Newman, like Tim Armstrong. Managed wrong, that's the prison population. That's the addicted population. That's the unemployed population. That's the marginalized, the depressed, the suicidal. Uh, and that's what makes it so interesting. It can make you or break you. And that leads to my analogy to explain it, to describe it, that having ADHD is like having a Ferrari engine for a brain, a race car for a brain, a really powerful motor but with bicycle brakes. So I'm a brake specialist. You come to me to help control the power of your mind, the power of your brain. And with my help, you can gain consistency. You cannot spin out on curves. You cannot um, go into those terrible moments of, of flare up, of impulsive uh, catastrophe. Of, of, of terrible mistakes at just the wrong moment. And, um, and, and that's why someone who is achieving at the very highest levels might want to get help. Uh, it's, it's, a, uh, uh, it's a common misconception that if you're doing great, you couldn't have ADHD. I hear it all the time. Guidance counselor says, or even a doctor says, well, you're a doctor, you, you couldn't have ADHD. I have brain surgeons in my practice. 
I have PhDs in my practice. I have CEOs in my practice. It's simply wrong to say, if you've done well in school, you couldn't have this condition. Uh, and, and I have plenty of people who are doing great in their lives who benefit tremendously, tremendously, from the kinds of interventions that we have. In the next video that I'm going to post, I will talk about the steps toward making the diagnosis and uh, the kinds of help that I have to offer uh, these adults. This is Dr. Ned Halliwell, wishing you a very good day.